As you know, I'm a pretty sporty person. I almost never spend any time sitting on my sofa. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, today we are going to look at some sporty games. Poo curling, poo head hoop, and basket poop. And I might get up from my sofa. This is poo curling. It's a game for one to four players where you're trying to get your poo in the loo. That's a rhyme. Curling has been an Olympic sport since 2006. Essentially, a large stone, called a rock, is slid down a length of ice towards a target. It's possible to cause the stone to move in a curve, or curl, or to slow down by the action of two sweepers with brushes. The closer you get to the centre of the target, the more points you score. Curling is very strategic and players must work in teams to manipulate the force of friction in two dimensions, which is why it's known as chess on ice. It is a sport with a hundred years of history, which has needed very little improvement, until someone thought, this is a good game and everything, but what if we exchange the rock for something else, something like a giant pile of poo. This video is sponsored by Vegetables. If you want to have a long and healthy life, try eating vegetables. They will provide you with vitamins, minerals, and fiber, and contain little fat, carbohydrates, or cholesterol. Use the link in the description to start your free trial of vegetables, or simply visit your kitchen. Once you are ready to buy some vegetables, use the code Mr. Overton at checkout to completely confuse the cashier. Then take them home and eat them every day. Thanks, vegetables. And now, back to the video. So, uh, I am joined today by my excellent friend, Mr. Rossiter, who you will remember from the first Felt Tip Pen Challenge video. Hello, Mr. Rossiter. Hello, Mr. O. How are you? I'm very well. Now, I wanted you to uh, play this game with me because it is a sporty game, and I know that you are a, a fan of sport in general. I do. I darts and, and golf mainly now, but yeah. I wonder whether you've ever played curling. Curling, um, that's the ice-based one. Uh, I've never played curling, I've played bowls, very similar. Okay. Uh, no ice involved in bowls. Um, but yeah, it, it appeals to me, the, the, the concept of, of, of curling. Well, I'm glad that it does because I've got a game that has possibly improved upon certain Oh, no way. <laughs> Surely not, you can't improve on curling. Poo curling. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh yeah. Now, uh, this looks fun. It is a family game. The uh, it says here, can you get your poo in the loo? Most times, I would say yes. Yeah. I mean, you know, uh, I think we all have a ninety-nine times out of a hundred. Yeah. Now, Fresh. This, as poo games that actually go, looks like quite a nice mouse mat. Yeah. It does. I like the steam effect coming from the poo. <laughs> That's not very Hong Kong, but. <laughs> steamy, steamy poos do exist in other countries, I'm sure. They do, in colder, in colder climes. In colder climes, yeah. The object of the game is to get your poos as close to the centre of the loo as possible. Flick! Climes. You flick the poo! Yes. Flick one poo puck. <laughs> <laughs> it answers your question there, Mr. Rossiter. Brushes are not used on poo curling. Oh. But it is important to keep the sheet free of dirt. Okay. Uh, as it is with all games, I think. So we've... Uh, uh, reorganize the table a little bit yeah so that we both have a, an equal chance now you uh, mr. Roster said that this little lump might provide um, a bit of a an challenge. extra challenge mm -hmm. yeah I feel that um, that's good and then we also discussed that the flicking might mean that we, we don't um, go past I mean mm -hmm. I feel like the end the edge of the wall that's a sort of a natural yeah but I think it's very hard when you're focused looking down to not go past it and then we need a referee that's true. So you reckon a flick? I think flick. Flick. Now the, the, the question for me is, do you want the, the, the healthier shade of poo or the, the less 
<laughs> well, in real life, I think I would prefer the healthier one. Um, okay. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna start the a middle little figure. bit. Well, I think I'm gonna conservative. Yeah, conservative start. I reckon. Wow. <laughs> That's conservative. <laughs> Uh, I like the little faces on the poo-poos. Yeah. I don't know whether you can see the little shock face on this one, but it's... That was conservative. That was conservative. <laughs> All right, so it's, it's a blocker. It's a little bit of somewhere in the middle. I think I'm going to go like this this time. Oh, ah, see, tactic paid off. I have to curl this one in from the right. <laughs> I knew you'd like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy, is it? <laughs> it's a very fine balance, I feel. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if you're gonna push a higher, yeah, a higher too angle much. on the poo. <laughs> same, same results. We're gonna have a zero scoring round here. Ooh, but that was pretty good, and it stayed up. Can't decide based on that, can we? No, I think, I think that was practice. Yeah, practice. Yeah, practice. Uh, I'm I'm gonna line up the face with the toilet so it knows what's coming. Mm. I feel like that that will benefit the. Yeah. Hello. Very nice. Now, it is breaking the line for 75. Are we going by breaking line or majority of poo? I mean, that's the question, isn't yeah, it? It's really? the age-old <laughs> question for, for poo curling. It's really, the question it? that's baffled our ancestors for a thousand generations. Oh, Mr. Rossiter. I mean, with, with such small margins, I would say they're breaking the line. Breaking the line, line. okay. Yeah. Now, if you don't mind, I think I'm... You're going to go for a slide? Can I go for a slide? slide? Yeah, but I'll try not to go past the wall. Cheeky poo slide? Yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I'm not sure whether I'm happy about that. <laughs> But you're still breaking the line of 75. Okay. Yeah. Shame. I mean, that, that was... Shame. That was... That was a, Get on the weights! That was a, that that was a bit a of a breaker. blocker though. That was, it was very much, especially on, on the right hand side. Yeah. Alright, okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I think we've, <laughs> I think we've discovered what the strategy is. I'm going to have to go all power here. <laughs> oh wow, but you hit the far wall. I think that's good. <laughs> All power, no accuracy. <laughs> it's gonna count for and, and in the game of poo curling, that's not that's not the combination you want. Let's see I'll do it. Oh he's pushed he's pushed my poo closer to the toilet. Yeah. Well, good game sir. Yeah, I mean What's that? 70. I think the difference in strategies made all, all all the difference there. I think the the slide there was more control. Mm. I mean, that's... I, can't, I can't make any excuses. I was the first to score. Yeah. Finish last. But I like the bandit poop especially. <clears throat> yeah, he doesn't want you to recognise that he's a poop. Mm. He, yeah, he's in like incognito poop. Yeah, like a stealth. Poop. Overall, this is a pretty good game. The pieces are all nice quality, especially since it only costs 25 Hong Kong dollars. It can be a little bit difficult until you get used to it, but overall, good fun. I give this four out of five poos, and I'll see you next time with Poo Head Hoop. So in incognito poo. Yeah, like a stealth poo. Yeah. Oh, stealth poo, stealth poo. It's been a while since I've had one of <laughs>